everybody, what's going on? Speedy Dobber here. Wow, it feels so good to be making this video. Guys, this is my 2019 gaming room setup video. And it's kind of like a holiday bonus as well because I have all my decorations set up. So here we go, guys. This is just exciting. This is so exciting. Christmas tree. <laughs> Squish, squish. Oh man, I love this. I, I love making videos like this because I make so many dumpster diving videos that when I can have the chance to make something different, I really let my mind go wild with it. And I really enjoy, genuinely enjoy making videos like this. And uh, it's just, there's just so much going on in this room this year. I don't know what's changed and what's the same from last year because it's been about a year since I've made one of these, but there is just a lot going on. I got to address this though. This is the teleportation door. Yes, I can teleport through this. I'm not even joking, guys. Let's do it right now. See, and just like that, we're back in the room. Like, every time I go to teleport out of the room, it brings me right back in. I don't know what's going on, guys. I'm actually kind of scared. I can't leave the room. Basically, dumpster diving channel, and a lot of the things in this room I have found. And this is a lot of it. So this is the bigger items. Now these over here, I do gotta say though, I have found these boxes, but in these boxes are actually controllers that I do use. Uh, they're not the ones that actually are the boxes themselves, but there's also just random boxes. Xbox One kiosk, that thing's golden by the way. Those actually go for tons of money. So if we go over here real quick, these are actually really cool because you can't buy these. You cannot buy them. Fallout 76 boxes. Evil Within two boxes, and down below are the Wolfenstein two boxes, as you can see. Also have a little ch chicken duck thing from Minecraft, don't know what it is, and a shell as well from uh, Mario. Also, this is from some Call of Duty, I forget which one, but it's like a horse with a Grim Reaper, really creepy. So we'll start our way on this right here and make our way over. So first things first is I think we'll start on the wall. And starting on the wall, we have this gem. Yes, there's only one of these in the entire world because this one's for the Speedy Diver. Now, when it says Speedy Diver, I think they should actually change this to be honest. They should put like, presented to the Speedy Diver and fans, the Speedy Diver family, or something along those lines because it's not just me who earned this, it's all of us. I mean, yes, it took a lot of hard work for me to make videos every single day and just the just dedication to making YouTube videos, but it's also to the fans, you guys watching, who helped me achieve that goal. If you guys didn't watch these videos, this wouldn't exist. So I thank you guys so, so much from the bottom of my heart. I truly love you guys for that. And there's not just one, there's three. <laughs> there's the gold one, there's the silver one, and this one's for the Speedy Diver channel for passing 100,000 subscribers. This one's for a million. And another one over there, which is the newer silver one. I still like that version better. I wish, I wish I got the gold play button when it was looking like that with an actual gold play button. It just looks so much better back then. This is like, Eh, it is really cool, but it's not as cool as the one that people used to get. Also over here, we have a clock. It's 4.33, amazing. Uh, we have my battery charging for my camera right now because it literally just died before. Uh, I have a little mic here, which I've been using for my gaming videos. It's just a little lavalier mic, I think they call those. Uh, I used to use this bad boy. This is a CAD U37 with a pop filter um, and a boom kind of stand and whatnot. I used to use that, but I found that the quality wasn't as good as the actual lavalier mic, go figure. But uh, also a Turtle Beach X12 headset that I use for the Xbox One, which brings me to the TV. Call of Duty Modern Warfare is currently playing on it in 4K. This is a 4K TCL 42 or 47 inch TV, and it's just a great TV. I could highly recommend it. Up here, actually a BenQ light bar. This is very cool because if I turn, press this button, boop, a light turns on, and it's literally this light right here. So moving over this way, we do also have a bunch of little Minecraft figures on top of there. Also a Speedy Diver Works Here sign, which my parents made up. It's made out of wood. It's really, really cool. Uh, Christmas hat. There's also BMO from Adventure Time. There's a Call of Duty World War II hat back there, which is been there for a while. Uh, and then the Oculus Rift. I absolutely love this thing. This is, I believe, the original Oculus Rift. I got it last year. Uh, and it's just a really, really cool item. I actually never did an unboxing of it. I did a couple videos on my gaming channel using it, and it was really, really fun. And uh, there's also a couple other things up here, like the Xbox One X Project Scorpio. Uh, there's a rock back there, because I just thought it looked cool. There's this thing from Aliens vs. Predator. I always call it like a head humper, but I think it's a head hugger. So I don't even know what it's called. Uh, a little pom-pom. 
that I found, like, oh, I think when I first started dumpster diving, so definitely really cool. Uh, a salt lamp that changes color. There's also the Christmas tree as well, which has a couple figures that I ended up finding last year as well, which is pretty cool. I do like that. Also, a bunch of sneak tubs and a sneak shaker cup, because I love sneak energy formula. I have all those, and I even have one over here as well. And also over here, I do have my curved... I don't even know how big it is to be honest, but it's a curved BenQ ultra wide monitor, which is amazing because you can watch Netflix on it on the full screen. Good for YouTube watching, video editing, because with video editing, trust me, the whole screen gets used up for that and it definitely, definitely helps. Also down here have a, uh, just an ET robots keyboard, which is pretty great. I love it. It's backlit. It's just all different RGB. Also a wireless mouse. There's also a little decoration down there, a little bear, beanie baby. My coasters, which are little like granite kind of coasters. Uh, they have gold stripes in them. I just kind of like it. There's another one over there with a cup of celebration on top <laughs> and a little santa there's also a candle because i love me some candles also i do have my trusty dusty tripod i've been using this thing since i started making youtube videos and it works like any tripod should it's never broke well i have cracked it but it's never failed me put it that way and uh it's just a good tripod, I like it. There's also a candy cane with a Speedy Diver lanyard here with the sensor for the Oculus Rift. The other one's actually in that corner right there. I do actually have another light right here. It's not on, it's an LED light. I don't use this one as much because it's really not that bright. It doesn't add too much to the room. I usually use this guy and this guy. That's a soft box lighting kit, I guess. I don't know what brand it is, but it works really, really well. This guy right here is a ring light, but this thing just distributes light so evenly around this area because this is where I make unboxing videos. I make other kind of videos over here as well of uh, like weekly recap kind of videos and just any video that you don't see that's dumpster diving, I usually make it in this area right here. Also, if you haven't noticed already, there is literally soundproofing material around the whole room. Yes, it even runs behind the gold play button. So I also wanted to quickly talk about this. Now this right here is actually something I don't think I've ever seen anyone ever do before. So I'm gonna turn all the lights off. Yes, there's actually lights underneath my soundproofing material. I'm gonna turn the light back on, but uh, yeah. If you guys can see that, the light runs all the way over, even behind there, up here, all around. I even have a light up there as well, which I can turn on and off. Down here, all the way over to there. So now what's cool is I can actually change the color of this. So I can change it to red, I can change it to uh, even multicolor. So it just changes by itself, as you can see. I've never seen any other person do this before. Any YouTuber, anybody, put LEDs behind their soundproofing material. Let me know if I'm the first, because I think I am. And I think I've discovered something that looks Really, really cool. Also over here, I have a Christmas tree that I just turned on. A Call of Duty World War II poster that's been there for quite some time. This is actually a, if you press it twice, it like turns it on or whatever. It's a air purifier, just takes in all the dust and stuff. By the way, this is actually a PL6000 Vertigear chair. This is a first scarf that my sister got me, but I really don't wear scarves. So I thought it was kind of cool to throw it on the chair. And it kind of gives it a really different look. I don't think anyone has a gaming chair that looks quite like this with the fur. I don't think anyone's ever put a fur on a gaming chair. So I, I like to be different. I think it's very cool, very me, I guess. <laughs> the reason I have this chair is because I'm a relatively tall guy. I'm 6'1", which is like taller than the average. So it's just, I like to have a little bit of extra meat on the chair so I feel comfortable sitting in it and also that my head can actually reach the pillow. If I got any shorter of a chair, my head would be like hanging off of it. So uh, I definitely like it. I love the white and the black as well because the computer, as you can see, it's a white and black PC. Also, I actually never mentioned the computer. This is actually a Skytech Omega gaming PC. It, I've never actually had an issue with it. I've never had an issue with this PC. It works amazing. It's got red LEDs inside. It's got like a GTX 1080. Uh, it's got a crazy amount of RAM. I don't know much about computers. All I know is that it's a beast. It is literally a beast and it's so worth it. Quickly, I'll just show you guys the floor because I have a little rug, have this thing forever. Uh, it's a little dirty, but either way, move the chair out of the way. We got some games. Oh yeah, also an Assassin's Creed little book. I just write ideas of YouTube videos in and stuff. Speedy Diver little sign that actually lights up. I'm a goat, so I got a goat sign. 
greatest of all time. Uh, there's also a uh, little Dishonored book down here with the figure as well. Uh, this right here is just a ton of Xbox 360 games as well as back there. These are all Xbox 360 games that I found GameStop dumpster diving. Now these games, or these cases, they all have games in them. Also, this side, these all have games in them besides the Xbox One and PS4. But all the Wii have games, all these collector things, uh, half of them I think have games, and all the PS3 games have games as well. Now this side, sadly, this is the side of just empty cases. Now you guys may be asking yourself, Speedy, why, just why do you keep empty cases? And there's a great reason for it. The reason I keep empty cases is to put games, like these ones that don't have cases, put those games in cases and I put them both together and it's a complete game. It's that simple. Now one thing I wanna say is that also, say like uh, right here, I have Dead Island. That game right there. These are all in here, by the way. Say I find another Dead Island game, and I put the two together, and I have another one. So I would actually have two copies. There's no need for me to have two copies of the same game. So what I'll do with that extra game is I'll go donate it to my local church. And what that does is it lets somebody else play it. And it lets someone else have the game who could actually enjoy it more than me having two of the same game. Because it doesn't make sense. So uh, for any of you who just didn't know that, I thought it's a cool little fact about what I do with the extra games. So as I'm editing the video, I did realize that I do have some duplicate games in here, and there's a great reason for it. Right here, as you can see, Saints Row the Third, uh, they're different. They're not actually the same. They are the same game, but this is the Greatest Hits Edition, hence the red case, and this one's a regular one. And these two right here look the same, but the disc is different. So there are some games that look like duplicate games, but trust me, they are not. I do, in fact, donate games that are duplicates, just for anyone who is a little eerie on that statement. And a lot of people think I actually sell the games. Uh, I don't. I, I don't sell games. I just donate them. And I find that to be way better than trying to make a quick buck off of something like this. And it's just, I do this for fun. I, I do dumpster diving for fun. I don't do it as a job. I do it as a hobby, like a really big hobby. Uh, it's kind of considered a job, I guess, but I do it as a big, big hobby and I really enjoy it. And as many of you, one plus million of you, like it too. So now up here on the very, very top, we have not much on that side because I'm still, it's like a work in progress. Uh, over here, we have a little Christmas guy, ton of other things that I've either found dumpster diving or gotten subscription boxes and uh, just a bunch of different things. Got a little Porsche here, got a shark, got some shot glasses with bullets going through them. Oh no. I do this with my gaming shelf as well. I think it's really cool. I actually put pins. These are actually pins. I put them, there's one under there too, I think. But I put the pins, I actually put them in here. There's a Minecraft one, there's a Fallout one, I just stick them in there. There's an Assassin's Creed one, there's that one, which I don't know what that is. There's my old camera, by the way. It's kind of just a paperweight at the moment, it kind of broke. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of just sitting there. Um, some Skylander figures, they just look kind of cool. Uh, because I'm the boss, that's why, Mug. Uh, gift cards that I have to actually make a video on. <laughs> yes, I need to make a video testing these out because I don't know if they have money on them. A rubber band squad shirt, a bunch of miscellaneous things. This is golden. That's the rubber band ball. For any of you who have never seen the rubber band ball, if you were able to hold this in your hand, this is such a symbolic piece to this channel. Some of you may not know. This, every time I add a rubber band to this, which I haven't done in a while, but every time I find a rubber band dumpster diving, it's adding someone to the YouTube channel, to our family here on YouTube, and it's just, I don't know, it's so symbolic. So maybe for night 900, I'll make an updated rubber band ball video. Let me know if you guys wanna see that because that rubber band ball needs to get bigger. And also a couple other things to note in this cabinet down here, just a bunch of extra consoles, like my original Xbox One. There's a PS3 that I found, an Xbox 360. I think I even have my NES in there that I ended up finding. Uh, in here, I'll actually show you guys in here because I can, I'm right by it. That's fake fur, that's not real. Uh, there's a TV remote, there's the games that I play. Those controllers usually sit in this drawer right here. Down here, we, <laughs> yeah, this, it's a mess. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't prepare for this video. There's rubber bands, there's all these batteries that I've been keeping lately, and trust me, a lot of them really do work. They have a lot of juice left on them. The trusty dusty unboxing knife, a lighter for the candle, a power bank, a quarter to scratch off things, I don't know, some screwdrivers, a light, uh, chargers and stuff for other things. 
Also in here, I have a, this is literally like a little sack full of cables that I have for just charging things, uh, like micro USB cords, uh, type C cables, another candle, a book I put YouTube ideas in as well, and just a bunch of miscellaneous things. This is actually a flashlight, which is kind of cool. See, it lights up, kind of neat. Also, now going underneath the desk, I actually got a new little heater fan thing. Yes, I used to have a one that actually was in the corner right there that actually had flames on it. That one I actually still have, but this one gives off a lot more heat and it kind of oscillates, which is kind of cool. Uh, also down here, there's a snake. Yes, that is a snake in a picture frame. I put that in there. So uh, it's a snake's skin and that's its head. <laughs> so that is definitely a really cool piece as well. I put that all together, made it myself. It's a real snake skin. So definitely really cool. I found it. Uh, I find everything. Like I even find snake skins. Over here is a little rug that I just kind of threw there. And uh, that's the underneath of the desk. So you guys may be saying, hey, Speedy, this room's insanely tiny. I know that. I know this is a very, very small room. Now, this is the best I can do at the moment. This is all I actually have to work with. And I'm kind of okay with that. Yes, I wish it was a way bigger room. It would be a lot easier to make videos. It'd be a lot easier just to store things, to actually display all the cool things that I find, but it is what it is. And that's what kind of keeps me humble inside in a sense. Like if you have everything, you're not want you're not going to want to do better for yourself. And with that being said, that's what keeps me so happy. And that's what kind of like when I find something as small as a rubber band or a battery or maybe like just something tiny, maybe even a keychain, it makes me so excited to find that. And I do also want to say I literally didn't have like any of this stuff before I started making YouTube videos. Uh, I didn't have the monitor. I did, literally everything in this room I didn't have. I didn't have a single thing in this room like of this. I didn't have a TV, didn't have that, didn't have a computer, didn't have this. I actually found this display, didn't have any of these games or cases, didn't have any of this. This up here at all I uh, didn't have that that didn't have the lighting didn't have the soundproofing didn't have a single thing in this room and that's that has a lot to do with why this makes me so happy to show this off I'm not flexing I'm not showing you guys hey I got the best of the best stuff no I'm showing you guys what you you watching what you could accomplish I literally started with nothing and this is what I have now and I think that is something to take to heart and it, it's something that's really really amazing and I hope a lot of you guys can achieve the same thing. It's just a cool, it's a cool thing to say, to be honest. So with that all out of the way, I'm gonna let you guys go. So that's gonna wrap up this year's gaming room setup video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you smack that like button and also subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And maybe, maybe even leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the gaming room. Rate it from one to 10. I really wanna know what you guys think. And with that being said, make sure you check out the best recommended video for you over here. Go check out the last video over here. Subscribe to the Speedy Gamer and subscribe to the Speedy Diver. And this was a very, very fun video to make. I absolutely love making these. Have a happy holidays. Merry Christmas to everybody. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side.